Hello everybody. Thanks for joining us on this crazy train ride on this beautiful Sunday. And happy Mother's Day to all of you moms out there. It's your day. Don't do anything that you don't want to do because you don't have to. So today I uh, wanted to show you something that I learned at the Fluid Art Boutique. I was in Sterling, Virginia this entire week and uh, got some fabulous FaceTime with the Fab Four, uh, they being Mina Villegas, Sarah Mack, Kathleen Osmore, and Karen Durishan. Um, this particular technique I learned in Mina's class and it was just so stinking fun that I wanted to try it as soon as I got home. Um, so I did. And I had a few issues with it, and I want to kind of talk to you about that. The um, piece that we did in Mina's class was a very small piece of wood. And now I understand why she used wood. When you have a canvas and you're putting something on it, that canvas gives. It's not tight and it's not taut like a piece of wood. So doing this bigger canvas, it's a 14 by 14, um, it was hard to keep that stencil against the canvas. It's much easier to do it on wood. So that was my first issue. Um, the second issue that I had was I didn't have any heavy gel um, to do this with and Mina recommended that when you use the gloss gel to mix your pigments with it needs to be a heavy gloss and now I understand why because I had a little bit of, uh, of bleeding through so um, lessons learned so if you're gonna try this in the future I would highly recommend doing it on wood and be sure to use the heavy body gloss gel so the first thing that I did, I think you saw, was to put down kind of an isolation coat of just clear gloss, nothing in it, no pigment, just clear gloss. And what that does is it helps to kind of seal the edges of your stencil so that it doesn't bleed through. Now, obviously I didn't use the heavy body, so I think it would have done a little bit better and as you'll see when I pull the stencil up, um, I did have some bleeding, but I was able to clean it up. Um, it's a really easy technique. It's a fun technique to use your pigments with. Um, just mix them with some, some gloss gel. It doesn't take a whole lot. And uh, just kind of spread your paint around however you want it. You can do multicolor. You can do all, you know, kind of the same color like I did the cactus on this one. Um, but it's a, it's a really fun technique. It's great to do with your kids and uh, you get a really, really cool result because it's textured. Um, anyway, it, it was a lot of fun and I learned a lot at uh, FAB this past week. Enjoyed being there. Met, finally got to put some faces to some names. Um, you know, you talk to people on Facebook and it's not the same as giving them a hug in person. So, uh, thank you to the Fab Four for putting that on. It was a wonderful event. I can't wait for the next one. And uh, if you have any questions about this technique, um, leave them in the comments and uh, I'll answer them as best as I can. In the meantime, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your Mother's Day, rest of your weekend, and uh, I will talk to you soon.
Thank you.